Welcome to the Black Acre 2020 Community Garden. I am Susan Ballerstedt, your garden manager, and I want to welcome you to the gardens this year. We are practicing physical distancing and still able to garden. Um, allow me to go over a few of the rules. We normally have a big kickoff meeting where we do this, but I'm just going to touch base on some of them and go over it. My first thing is to go back to the website and to our rules and read them again. That will save you the most time and make it more enjoyable for you. Um, if you're organic, guess what? You get to follow two sets of rules. All the rules for their other garden and then for the organic garden. Um, one thing, um, watering rules. Plants only need an inch of water a week. So if we have a deluge of two inches of water, you don't need to water for a week. The, if you water every day, you will make lazy plants. You want strong, healthy plants. You want to make those roots go down and follow that water down one, two feet down. So while you do new transplants, you need to water every day for a couple of days, then every other day for another week, and then you get them strong and you wean them off until you get only an inch of water a week, and you will have the best plants ever. Also, no unattended watering. You must be with the water hose at all times. You will, if you leave, a helpful neighbor, I am sure, will turn off the water for you. So, um, you are not to let the water leak. If the hose leaks, something's wrong. You need to fix it. We do not want to waste water. We want to conserve it. We don't want to get the ground all soppy around the hydrants fix the leaks. I have uh, washers if you need washers for your hose. Don't let it leak. Check it when you turn it on. If it's leaking, let's tighten it some more. Let's figure out what's wrong. Um, wood chips. We have provided wood chips through a wood chip service and um, you need to chip your paths. Everyone does the paths. It keeps the weeds down, makes it easier to do. Um, which also speaking of weeds weeds right now the gardens look beautiful there are very few weeds but they will come when it warms up and the rains come april showers bring mayflowers or weeds and so you need to do weeding um, a rent a row takes about an hour a week and a half plot takes about four hours a week a full 30 by 30 plot expect seven to eight hours a week to maintain it if you come every day or every other day you could probably cut that down to six hours maybe even five but if you only come on a Saturday it's gonna take a good seven hours and who wants to spend seven hours doing all that work so do your time accordingly I also have some other tips if you're going on vacation, what to do and how to do that. See me with that. Um, some of the sort of no-nos that everybody forgets, no black plastic down permanently, no black weed cloth, um, no bamboo, because if it's left, it's sort of dangerous to till over. Uh, no white potatoes because of the Colorado potato beetle. Um, Let's see, I think that's most of the big no-nos. Um, our new rules because of COVID-19, physical distancing. So we are doing, I, I think six feet is a minimum. I like, I'm enjoying 12 feet or more. And then we are not sharing tools this year. We do not have a porta potty out here this year. Um, we are going to wipe off um, the tools that we do rent, the tillers, in between use and sanitize them after every use um, but again be mindful over 50 percent of our population out here is at risk so if you're not at risk be very mindful of the ones who are at risk um, and let's see what else have i got on here oh it's always good to amend your soil if um i don't recommend that you do the whole thing in um, compost. You don't need to cover the whole thing because why do you want to fertilize the weeds? 
you, they don't need to get any stronger or bigger. So be conservative with your amending. Do it where you're putting your squash plants. Do it where you're putting your row. So you dig your row trench for your beans, put your compost down, sprinkle about two tablespoons of lime per plant along it, put another little layer of dirt and plant your seeds, cover them over. You will have the best plants ever. So anyway, welcome to the gardens. I will have more tips and tricks and I am looking forward to meeting each and every one of you this year. Thank you and God bless.